But the last 18 months have also posed major challenges for golf's growing player base, namely a series of supply chain issues, including surging demand, COVID-19 related material shortages, plant shutdowns, widespread shipping delays. And these supply chain challenges have affected everything from golf club heads to grips to golf carts, making it increasingly difficult for existing players to upgrade their gear and for new players to get the equipment they need to even start playing. And six months later, I'm still waiting. So last September, I decided I was going to do two major things. One, get fit for the first time in my life. Two, pick up a new set of irons. I had been playing my Nike Pro Combo since 2013, and it was time for an upgrade. So I picked a local shop here in Dallas wanting to shop local and had a great experience at the fitting. And right off the bat, they told me I was in for a two month wait. So we're looking at November of last year. No problem, I understand. I've been in, on track with the news, seeing what's going on with manufacturing. And even, you know, when I got fit, we were at the end and he's like, let me go ahead and grab the grips that you're gonna get um, and put these aside because we're gonna, we're gonna probably need those. So already, you know, you get some indications of components and kind of things falling, falling short. And so I had some indication that I would be waiting on my clubs. No worries. November comes and goes. I check in and I'm like, hey, just wanted to see what was going on with the clubs. Mind you, I was fit for TaylorMade P790s with the KBS 120 Tour Shaft. Um, you know, I currently play a True Temper Shaft. I'm really looking forward to the upgrade and the lighter weight shaft and felt really good during the fitting. So mind you, um, going into the winter season, yeah, I'm gonna play some golf in November in Texas through December, you know, a couple of days in January, no issues, but was really willing to wait to get to the off season, which uh, for Texas is gonna be February, March of the next year. So again, I'm patiently waiting for my clubs. After November, uh, they tell me, hey, check back with us in January. Uh, there's been some delays on the clubs. Again, my mind shifts to the club head and maybe tailor-made falling short. But when I check in, in in January, they let me know that the problem is the shafts and them having trouble, or at least tailor-made having trouble getting KBS shafts in and staying in stock. So I'm now, shifted my attention to now there's a shaft shortage, um, which is very interesting. And given my excitement around the change in shaft and feeling like that was gonna make a difference in the consistency of my iron swing, again, I was willing to wait. So I checked back in at the end of February. That was the new date that I was given. We wanna offer you a different shaft, similar characteristics with the exception of a higher flight on your your high your low iron so your your four five six to get a higher flight which is going to be the kbs 120 tour flighted shaft no problem again you know i'm not a i don't struggle to get the ball in the air but i was pleased with this solution and so again we fast forward to the beginning of march i'm patiently waiting they told me it might be mid-march so i checked back in with the shop and they tell me, hey, we've we've had another issue. Bruh. Um, we can get you your four through your eight right now. You're gonna have to wait on your pitching wedge and nine iron. So another obstacle in the way of me getting my clubs. I asked uh, the golf shop, can they send the four through the eight and ship the heads for the other two clubs, the nine and the pitching wedge. I was able to source out some some iron shafts, the same shaft that I was looking at um, on eBay. I'm willing to spend a little bit extra. You know, I'm already my initial investment in, time invested. I just want to get my clubs at this point. You know, our golf season has already started and I'm really wanting to see some changes in my game. So they tell me no. TaylorMade will not just ship the heads but they offer me the solution of giving me the nine in the pitch and wedge, soft stepping an eight iron shaft, and seeing how it feels. And if I absolutely hate it, 
that they will replace it um, down the line. Who knows when they'll be able to get the original shaft? Who knows? So down the line could be 2023. And I think that's the trend that we are currently on with components as it relates to the golf industry. Again, I circle back to supply chain. I've been doing a lot of research on the supply chain deal and how it's affecting the golf industry as a whole. Um, I remember a couple of months ago, there was some murmurs about a ball shortage or a potential ball shortage, which never came to fruition. Um, but, you know, similar materials that go into making a ball go into making grips, which if you go into your local golf shop, you're probably seeing a sparse amount of grips on the shelf or the restocking is a lot slower than we were used to probably in 2019 pre-pandemic. Um, and so kind of giving the heads up that the shafts have been the issue, I started researching steel. Pandemic threw supply chains into chaos. Steel was no exception. Prices dropped, then popped. A boom in steel demand. Demand is relentless. I think people feel like steel is just price can go higher. I've been looking at this as probably the second biggest impact to, to steel makers ever. And, and I think that the largest impact is World War II. Impending steel shortages become a major problem as America's war production streamlines into how- And seeing data and just the information around steel cost going from five to $800 per ton to $1,900 per ton of steel um, during the pandemic at its height. And, and while it's come down during off those peaks, you're still seeing a shortage of production as well as some increased cost. So that's definitely affecting the KBS site. Um, True Temper seems to have worked ahead and figured their situation out. I had a buddy also fit with the big box store for the P790s um, in, in the beginning of January. He got fit, sent his order off. He was able to get his clubs back, but he's playing the True Temper shaft that I do not like. And so again, I was willing to wait despite being jealous and seeing him hit these new clubs, I was still willing to wait and still am to this day. Um, albeit a little bit frustrated at this point that the com initial communication uh, wasn't as clear on what the issue was. Um, and I just felt like I got passed around until about mid-February. So here we are um, kind of, I just, Curious. I'm looking through the KBS website, seeing what's available, seeing what they have to sell to the, the general public. Um, and as you go through the website, a number of different shafts are just not available um, on back order and they just don't have them to distribute. I don't know what the stock looks like for major OEMs like TaylorMade or a Ping, any major outlet that produces club heads, but is still dependent upon components from other manufacturers, whether it be the shaft or the grip, is probably some indication that the delays that I've experienced are what they're experiencing as well, and that Tour Pros are probably being prioritized, and the rest is on a limited stock, and first come, first serve. And so, when a, when a whole website is down, when a whole website is saying KBS is currently under maintenance. I think that's a pretty bad sign. So just poking around the internet, I go on to Twitter um, and log on to the KBS Shaft's uh, Twitter page. And you just kind of see, a, you know, a sparse number of comments. There's not a lot of interaction on their page. But when you go, you see comments related to great shaft, can't get it right now. Been waiting for six months, had to cancel my order, etc. And so you see, the frustration and that my experience was unlimited. Uh, these go back to the early part of this year and late last year with some of these complaints. And so these are just some things to think about as you may be exploring getting new clubs this year. Um, a lot of the supply chain issues that we're enduring right now won't be resolved until 2023. And that's cross your fingers if that's gonna happen as well. Um, you know, I think pre-pandemic, um, there, there was a steady amount of, let's say, steel production going on. But in the first quarter of last, uh, 2020, 20, excuse me, when the pandemic kicked off and 
you know, supply for steel wasn't as necessary. Um, you know, they shut down plants, uh, stopped production. And then when we knew we were going to be sitting at home for a little while or that life was going to change, shopping habits changed, golf hit a boom in the second quarter on uh, of 2020 during the pandemic. It was a thing that a lot of people went back to, picked back up on, um, started new in the game, which created a demand on supplies that the industry honestly was not ready for and that we are still enduring here two years later. And so, again, for things to normalize, I don't know when that's going to happen. Um, hell, I hope I get to see my clubs before, um, you know, the middle of the year. They told me two weeks from a couple weeks ago is when they would be shipped out. And who knows when that's going to take or to get here and the front door. So, again, the frustration looms on. Uh, just something to be advised of. Get down in the comments. Tell me if you've been fit here in the last couple of years. Uh, how long did it take for you to get your clubs? If you've been fit recently, what timeline were you given? Really interested to hear your feedback. Um, and if you were able to receive your clubs in a shorter timeline, how'd you do it? What did you change? People want to know. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.